Hi, today I will be showing you a Pokiyoki device which I'll be making in order to help me park more efficiently and using less time. What I'll be using is three household items. A duct tape, I'm going to be using my dog's old toy, and a piece of string. The issue that I'm experiencing on a daily basis is the difficulty having to park my car in the garage. Because the front lip of this concrete block is so high and the front bumper of my car is pretty low, when I enter the garage I'm struggling to park my car properly without scraping that concrete piece. Now that's a defect, it's a waste. The other waste that I'm experiencing is overprocessing, that is constantly tapping my brakes as I edge towards the wall. Now and then I'll also experience a motion defect, meaning I will physically have to get out of my car when I parked, judge the distance between the wall and the bumper of my car, get back in the car, edge up a little bit closer, get out and make sure that I'm in the optimal distance to where the garage door will close and I will not scrape my bumper on that concrete piece. We'll be doing a section of three videos. I'll do a first drive right now and show you what it's like to park without the Pokiyoki device. I will then implement a short procedure video of how I put together my Pokiyoki. And then the third final video is going to be me using the Pokiyoki device and uh, using the Pokiyoki device basically pretty much as I park. Now that my Pokiyoki device is implemented, I'm going to do a last simulation drive and we'll see what the new time, the improved time is using this stopwatch. time that it took me to park with a Pokiyoki device was 3 seconds and 98 milliseconds, almost 4 seconds. I think it's a great improvement and I hope you guys can use this at your own house. In conclusion, I'd like to say that I left a longer slack on that string than I originally anticipated to do. Um, I did it just as a fail-safe measure. Uh, on those nights when I come back home and I'm extremely tired and my brain doesn't quite register the moment the ball touches my windshield and I don't apply brakes fast enough. So that leaves me with my optimal distance that I wanted. It greatly reduces my parking time and also it helps me to prevent damages like these uh, to the concrete block itself and to the front bumper of my car. I would like to say that the results have completely surprised me. I did not expect that. Uh, huge decrease in time that it took me to park. And uh, after this video, I'll run some calculations and I will show you exactly how much time I have saved during the day and how much I estimate to save during a year. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this.